Hi, I'm Dalman Ross and I'm here to help. This is the very first lesson in my Excel for ADD sufferers series. This lesson assumes that you know nothing or next to nothing about Excel, except perhaps how to uh, open the program on your computer. When you do that, you'll get a blank grid that looks a lot like this. Uh, and it's called a worksheet inside a workbook. Excel names the sheet sheet one by default and it names the book book one by default, but of course you can change those. And well, I've got another sheet uh, in this workbook, sheet two, that I've set up to help you with this lesson. And this is what's on it. This is what I'm going to teach you right now. We're not going to go over five minutes, by the way. So I've got less than four minutes left. All right. Worksheet, workbook, cell. This is a cell that's highlighted. And uh, the one that's highlighted is called E11 because it's at the intersection of column E and row 11. So this is referred to as E11, cell E11. Cell, row, column, and formula bar. Up here's the formula bar. We'll, we'll come to that in a minute. Uh, okay. So in Excel, you can have text. You can have numbers, and you can have formulas, uh, and a couple of other things, but these are the main things. Now, a formula in Excel always starts with an equal sign, and then has some kind of uh, operation going on after the equal sign. So these simple formulas here all use the basic for math operators. And uh, in Excel, the star or asterisk means multiplication, the slash means division, and then plus and minus addition and subtraction. Okay, so whenever we type an equal sign followed by some kind of number or operator and so on, uh, we we are typing a formula and we can get a result. So if I type what it says on the left equals 5 plus 3, I think you know what that is. I'm going to hit the enter key 8 equals 5 minus 3. If you don't know what this is, you'd better go ask your cat. 2 equals 5 times 3 15 equals 5 divided by 3. Well, it's not, a, it's not a whole number. It's a fraction of some kind. And if you think about it, well, it's bigger than 1 and less than 2. What is it? Let's see. OK, it's 1 and 2 thirds, actually. All right. And 5 times 3 minus 3. That would be, what, 15 minus 3? Okay, uh, I've got some more formulas down below, but I'm not going to show those to you in this lesson. Those are for lesson two. And let's go back here. How do we know that this is a formula and not just a number like this? Well, we come up here to this bar. It's called the formula bar. And we see what's typed in here. We see the equals 5 times 3 minus 3. And as soon as we see that equal sign, we know that this is a formula and not just a, a number. And of course, you, you, you see the result of the formula when you look and see the number 12, but it's a formula. All right. So that's all for lesson one. Those are the very rudimentary basics of Excel. And come back for more. We're going to learn more as we go along. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.